Hey you guys, it's me, Deja Sky from Fall Drag Race Season 14, and welcome back to my channel. Ba boom, yeah. Hey you guys, welcome back. So today we have a very special video. God, I say that often, but to me it's just special because. As you guys may or may not know, I really like cosmetics. And this is actually a video that has been requested by a few people in DMs, comments, just everywhere. They wanted me to do my list of my favorite mugs of RuPaul's Drag Race, and maybe that is what we are doing. Now, I have to preface this by saying these are my favorite mugs. Nowhere am I saying these are the best. These are what everyone loves. It, it is a Deja Sky favorite mug list. And it is for me to tell you what I love and who I love and what I love about their makeup, baby. Yes, ma'am. Speaking of mugs, please do not forget to compliment mine. Let's get into this video. Now, obviously, I have been doing top 10. However, there's too much makeup, too much gorgeous flawlessness for me to just pick 10, so I picked my top 15, okay? Hey, 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 hey. You're welcome. <laughs> in at number 15 is my season 14 sister, Georges! When I first walked into season 14 and I saw this beautiful, gorgeous creature of life, I was like, oh, okay, Muggyana McGee, love. And lately, as you guys can see, like, she really has had a yossification of makeup. She's always had amazing makeup. I will say this. She's always had amazing makeup. There's just something about her makeup now that is just so, like, drag. I live for drag, baby. Like, it is just so sickening. The blush, the detail work in her eye, just the openness. I just, I love this diva, and I love her mug, baby. That is why she is number 15 on my favorite mugs of RuPaul's Drag Race. In at number 14, is my international sister, Miss Lagrand Dom. Let me just preface this by saying one thing. In my opinion, I think she is, I've told her this before, in my opinion, my humble opinion, I think she has the most beautiful face to ever come out of RuPaul's Drag Race. Like, and it's just, it's crazy that she goes from like, Mr. Grand Dom, to like La Grand Dom. Like she is just so stunning. And what I love most about this diva is she is not afraid of the cosmetic. She could easily just put on a demi wispy lash and look like a woman. But this beautiful creature is just so stunning. I love her. I have gotten to hang around with her when she came to Vegas. So I just love this diva so much. But her mug is chef's kiss, baby. Yes, ma'am. And at number 13, let me just say this right now. This is actually the diva that inspired me to do more dramatic makeup. When I first started out, I was trying to be the fishy girl. You know how we all we all want to be women. Well, we all want to look <laughs> like women when, when we first start out. I think now the generation is a little bit different. They definitely go for the dramatics right off the bat. But, you know, I wanted to like a <laughs> little bit. Anyways. This diva is actually the one that inspired me to do more dramatic makeup, and that is Madame La Queer. I know. You guys, I have been a fan of RuPaul's Drag Race since season one, and it wasn't until Madame La Queer that I was like, oh, I want to do that. On season four, she was not afraid of cosmetics, okay? Her mug was beat to capacity at all times. Still doing the damn thing in the Los Angeles area, but yes, Going on record, Madame LaQueer is the reason why I started doing dramatic makeup. So shout out to you, mama. Love you. Coming in at number 12, this is Marina Summers. Oh! Okay. Let me just give you a little backstory. I watched the first season of Drag Race Philippines. I did. I really enjoyed it. And Marina's makeup, I was like, okay, it's, 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 it's pretty. Like, it's really pretty. It wasn't until after Drag Race Philippines and UK vs. The World that I was like, oh, 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 the diva is mugged. And what I love most about it is she, she has gotten a little bit of work done and it is just enhanced 
her beauty. The angles in her face are so beautiful, and I love that it, she matches it with her eye makeup. It's usually angled out, it's angled up, it's really lifting. Like, I love this diva so much. Baby, the, this, this lipstick assassin is just, woo, her makeup. Moving right along to number 11, this is Morphine Love Dion. Baby, the mug of season 16. You know, I'm the mug of 14. She's the mug of 16. Who's the mug of 15? She is the mug of season 16, baby. Again, this is another diva that could literally just wear nothing and look beautiful and gorgeous and stunning. But she chooses to put the makeup on. Now, I have been a fan of hers for years. She's had a YouTube channel for years. She's always been mugged. But... I am so glad she got on season 16 because the mug was at its peak, its capacity, baby. Every single time she stepped on that stage, that runway, snatch. Snatcherina Snatcha McGee. Comment below, you guys, what is your favorite mug of the Drag Race franchise? I mean, you could do a top 15, but I want to know what is your all-time favorite mug. And if it's not me... So in at number 10, all the way across the pond, the Vivian. Baby. Now, I have seen this mug in person. I have seen this mug online. I have seen this mug on TV. The mug is sitting. Now, let me tell you something. I'm usually not a ginormous fan of really sharp, like, almost, like, lined cheeks. I'm not usually a fan of that. But on her... It just looks so goddamn good. I don't know if it's the way she blends it. I don't know what it is. But I'm just not a fan of, like, line, line. You know what I mean? I'm just not. And that's just a preference. Not saying that anyone is not mugged. It's just I'm not a fan of that. I like very blended, you know, face. But it is so beautiful. The fact, and this is weird to say, she keeps her eyes very, like, small, but very proportioned to her face. I'm not saying it's like beady eyes and then a big face. It's just very small and proportioned, but very detailed and beautiful and blended. Moving right along to number nine of my favorite mugs. This is going to my gorgeous sister, and I consider her sister, Tace. Is this a sister? Okay, my bad. Mama, she's at number nine. It just so happened that she's from the UK as well. I love Tace from the promos. That's where I was like, oh, she's a diva. She is the diva it wasn't until she did memory and her entire face was like covered in blood and her makeup still projected through and her honestly i have seen taste i kid you not i have seen taste in a full beat no eye makeup just a baby lash and still looks stunning still looks beautiful i don't get it some some sort of witch magic but she just has one of those faces that it's just and it's and it's weird because she gives me androgyny. Like, she can be very beautiful, but she can also be very masked. Like, she gives that, like, androgynous high cheekbone features, like, very model S, which is why she's a fucking But, Tace, I love you. I love you, sister. I cannot wait to meet you. And she has requested that I do paint her. So, be on the lookout for that whenever we cross paths. Maybe she'll be in Vegas soon. We never know. And at number eight, this is Starlet. Okay. Okay, okay. If you do not follow this in diva, you're crazy. You're loco. You're insane in the membrane. She is exquisitely good at makeup. Like, some of the things I'm like, how? How are you that beautiful? Not only is she good at makeup, she's like literally amazing visually. Hair. Costumes. Fashion. Like, Anyways, I cannot say enough about this diva. Go on her Instagram, you guys. Follow this. It is sickening. It is stunning. She is literally the sweetest, most soft spoken person I've ever seen. On she's been like, hello. But I love it. And then she just gives a fierce fucking mug. The transformation is real with this diva. Starlet, please paint me. I don't say that about a lot of people. I don't, I don't like a, people to touch my face. But Starlet. I would let you touch my face. Moving right along to number seven. This is the Emmy Award winning makeup girly Layla McQueen. Baby, if I said that Layla McQueen did not inspire me, that would obviously be a lie, you guys. She is literally 
everything. On season eight, I was like, okay, her makeup was sickening. After the season, mama. Right now she's doing very androgynous, you know, with everything, and it's still stunning makeup. And if you don't believe me, look at everything she's done on everyone else. She is an award winning, y'all, she has an Emmy. She has an Emmy. So in at number six is in my opinion, I feel like she's the younger makeup girly that is really pushing boundaries. She's really making waves on social media and that is Crystal Versace. Now I have met this diva and let me, let me put a full disclaimer out. When I got announced on RuPaul's Drag Race, I got a DM from Anubis and Crystal Versace, actually a video, saying that they were rooting for me and they were so sweet. And in fact, when I was in the UK for GAY, I met my babies. So these are real human beings, so sweet, so amazing. And this is after she won, you guys. Like she, she could have easily, who's that diva? No, she's amazing. And of course, you know, she was like, mama you are mugged. So if a mug girl compliments my makeup, oh, it's the highest level of flattery. She came in stamped. She didn't, now she is, as any skill, you get progressively better. But she came in like just like striking, striking makeup. Her makeup is always out. It's always snatched. She gives severity. She gives up and lift. It is one of those mugs that she is so sweet. Like I said, she is so sweet. But she has one of those mugs that if she was a it would make absolute sense and I would not care. Step on me. Step on me. Hit me. Because the mug is just so beautiful. I, got, I feel like I have to preface this again because maybe people may not agree with my list. But it is my list and this is my favorite mugs. There's multiple different reasons why these are my favorite mugs, but okay. Moving on to number five is my sis, my binge queen sister, Kim Chi, Kimberlina Chiana, yes, honey. What, need I say more? Like, need I say more? She is not afraid at all of the cosmetics. She puts it on, she puts it up, she puts it out, she carves, she she transforms her entire face. When you see Kim's face, it's never the same. It is never the same. I can say there's a maybe a handful of ladies that you can tell don't do the same makeup all the time. I think most of us, I can say with me, I feel like I'm very versatile in makeup, but there are certain things I will always have on. You know what I mean? There, there's certain shapes and certain things on my face that I'm like, oh, I'm not getting rid of that anytime soon. But with Kim Chi, she changes it up every single time. It's sickening. It's stunning. She was that girl on season eight. She is a makeup mogul now. Baby's still doing the damn thing. She is, she deserves this number five slot because it's just everything. She's everything to me, visually, aesthetically, one of those girls, baby. Moving on to number four. One of my favorite makeup artists of all time. Inspired a generation. I can say that confidently. Inspired a generation, including myself. Beauty beyond compare. And this is Pearl, all the way from season seven. Again, another queen that came in mug. She was doing stuff that like I hadn't seen yet on RuPaul's Drag Race or like I was from a small town. Okay, so, you know, my inspirations were girls of RuPaul's Drag Race, you know. She was just everything on season seven. She progressed, 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 and got big. Mama, she had a huge following. If you don't follow her YouTube, you're crazy. Roxanne is my spirit animal. That's her creation. Roxanne is everything. But the fact that she can transform into anyone, the fact that her makeup is impeccable, seen it in person, stamp, stunning, so good. This diva is so good. And I can say, like, she really did, like, inspire me, inspired a lot of queens. I still see her vibe to this day. Baby Pearl, again, is that girl. So in at number three is the stunning goddess Envy Peru, baby. Oh, this makeup is beautiful online, in person, in video, in daylight, at drag. She's everything. Her attention 
to detail. The fact that she can transform. She doesn't always do the same and be Peru face. The fact that she is so humble. Let's see, you guys, she is literally the winner of Drag Race Holland. And when I met her, she was dying to have a picture with me and talk to me. That's insane to me because I respect this diva so much. When is she coming back to TV? I don't care if it's an all-star, if it's a winner's, if it... We need her back on TV because I need to see this face again. Number two on my list is the deity, the RuPaul's Drag Race makeup artist, Raven. Yes, bam, that is my friend, that is my sister. I love this diva so much. Now, don't underestimate Raven at all, okay? I remember when she first started doing RuPaul's makeup on season nine. I, she was still learning, okay? She was still learning. You cannot tell me RuPaul doesn't always look snatched from head to toe, Diva. From head to toe. And that was Raven's doing. That is Raven. Her technique, her everything is on RuPaul. Now, if you meet Raven in person, the mug is impeccable. Stunning. She's also one of those Divas that I don't think people understand. People think that she's a because they're going off of season two. You guys, she is the sweetest person ever. But... She's just amazing. And she really did mold the face of not only RuPaul, but RuPaul's Drag Race, you guys. Like, this is a deity. This is a a diva, a goddess. Like, Raven is that, that one. She's amazing. We are coming down to number one of my favorite mugs of RuPaul's Drag Race. And I feel like this shouldn't come as a surprise. But I feel like maybe to the newer generation, she's fallen off. To me never will fall off. And that number one spot is going to Miss Fame. She was the makeup girl. She's the one that taught an entire society how to do drag makeup. She was popping off on YouTube before she was on Drag Race. She was showing you how to do it. She was painting other people. Obviously inspired by Dusted by Deja, painted with fame. This is another diva that is so absolutely stunning and beautiful. She paints, and she can paint softly. And it still looks amazing. This girl is just everything. We have been in talks numerous times about painting each other, or her painting me, or me. So she's humble. She's amazing. She's beautiful inside and out. Aesthetically pleasing, head to toe. This diva is the one. That's why she is my number one. My, my all-time favorite mug on RuPaul's Drag Race is Miss Fame, let it be known. Let the children say fame. That was my list of top 15 favorite mugs of RuPaul's Drag Race. As always, comment below, baby. Did I miss a mug? What's your all-time favorite mug? Now, don't be disrespectful in the comments. And I will say this. You guys have always been respectful in the comments. Because I remember when I first started out, you know, I got some hate comments. People just being nasty. Literally, for the most part, you guys have been nothing but supportive, amazing, and baby, this channel continues to grow. As always, please follow me on all my social media, you guys. My goal, my goal for YouTube is 100K, and we're getting at 20K. So baby, slowly but surely, we gonna get there, honey, and it's because of you. Well, you guys, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.